you like a blue bouffant hairdo? Well, this tennis player does. Look at that. Look at that hair. Pro Tennis Simulator on the Amstrad CPC. Uh, 1980, oh no, no, not 1980, is it? Yeah, oh yeah, 1989. Oh, bloody hell, I was going to say 1990 there, but it was close enough. A close call. Gavin Peters uh, programmed this. Code, Code Masters, so it's, uh, you would expect to be a little bit decent. And it's okay. Uh, and that's really what I can say, okay. Um, hmm. It's, um, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot more... Should I say bold, <laughs> cartoony? Then a lot of the tennis games that tried to do uh, on the Amstrad later on uh, in its life, they tried to get a little bit more realistic with the likes of uh, Tennis Cup and Pro Tennis Tour. Uh, great courts uh, on the GX4000, uh, Pro Tennis Tour on the GX4000. Should I say and great courts as well on the Amstrad? Um, so it doesn't take them cues. It takes a cutesy sort of a look at it, a more cartoony basic feel, along the lines of what Nintendo generally do with their tennis games. But it's not overly uh, um, sort of like anime unrealistic kind of thing. It's a little bit more true to, than that. Uh, I'm not sure why the court is so offset. It's very strange. Um, you can't see it from uh, this perspective that you're looking at at the moment, but it is actually a full screen as well, which I do like. It's got it's got uh, what sometimes dubbed as an overscan. Uh, so the borders are actually used of so the full screen full image of the Amstrad is used it's not actually restricted in the playing area so it's got a very very nice large playing area which is really good to see uh, nice live scoreboard on the back as well a lot of these tennis games of, the, of this age did not have a live scoreboard so it's got one up the top so you can see what the current situation is oh come on oh cross court bang oh so, you see I, I do actually get into this a little bit because it can be quite exciting Come on! Oh, uh, two, two shots of the cherry there. Oh no, I've completely fudged that up. And uh, another game which is positional based. Uh, we've only you've only have one shot. Obviously, one action shot action with the one fire button. So, oh, again, positional based. Oh come on, umpire, that was out, wasn't it? Bloody hell, he, did, he called that one in. Goodness me! Oh, that was oh bloody hell! I whacked that one big time. So depending on where you are on the court and how you position to the ball, depending on what kind of shot you will do, generally you'll just knock it back. But you can do smashes if you're close in enough and the ball is at a high enough angle. And of course changing the direction and weight of the ball is what we'll do with positioning on the stick as you hit the ball. Um, it's a little bit tetchy in places. For instance, this serve, it's really only you can really only do, perform one serve. I mean, any kind of devilish serve you want to try and put for you normally goes very strict and just knocks it out straight away so it's the, the trick is just to um bounce it up and swing the bat as it sort of like hits the headband and generally you'll get a good serve in there's a little bit of a oh oh two again you can swing twice at the damn thing it, it you know responds pretty well when you press the button, you actually get your action uh, whenever, you, wherever you are on the court. It doesn't matter whether the ball's in play or not. So that's quite nice to see. Oh, look, look at that. that. That was pretty nice. I like that. That was automatic. Sort of dug it out there underneath. That's cross-court stuff. You, there is an element of shot making to this. Um, oh, yes. That was beautiful. Oh, that was a really good rally. That was, good. That was really good fun. I would have I would have liked if there was a little bit more colour going on. Um, I mean, there's no reason why both of them need to be dressed in white. Goodness me, I mean that's a bit confusing. Uh, you're on the top nearly all the time. I think you are actually on the top all of the time. You never seen never changed sides of court. There's three difficult difficulty levels in this, um, which basically correspond to the court colour. So this is a uh, novice or easy. Uh, so you get the clay court for that, which is bizarre. Uh, then you get hard court for think hard, ironically, and a lawn court for medium, sort of average, normal difficulty. So yeah, it's, you get straight into the game. There's uh, not particularly a tournament mode. It's just again stripped down to the very basics, one on one match style. Uh, so yeah, a bit a bit of shame that there's not a tournament mode. <coughs> I mean, there was a. Several other tennis games at the time did have tournament modes and more options you could have. There was little of that going on in this, 
but there is different courts which is nice to see and like I said the gameplay mechanics of this work, work very well it does take a little bit to get used to it's not a, an instant pick up and play super tennis kind of thing or as I previously mentioned in another NRG tennis on the Game Boy where you can just pick it up and off, off you go and you get it straight away it does take a while to get used to but it's not as um, strict and not as not as really vicious as other tennis games give it give it about 20 minutes and you get it and you get the position and you get how it works and once you do it's actually quite fun and uh, it's yeah, it's, not, it's not bad you know it's um i'd say it was an above average effort and I, and i would expect that from the codemasters to be honest because the codemasters don't really make a lot of bad games especially on the Amstrad and Spectrum back in the day and the Commodore of course so uh it's serviceable oh the turn of pace on the ball that's um surprisingly quick for the Amstrad surprisingly quick which is good to see sprites move around pretty quickly with not a lot, not a lot of flicker the animation's very basic i mean there's not a lot of animation going on um i mean the scut <laughs> the way they walk on the court they sort of scuttle around like crabs crabs on ice look at this look at this dude at the bottom oh come on umpire nice little touch there from the umpire with the speech bubbles as well that's another thing i, I like i like that Scoring generally the same as any old tennis game, really. Five set matches only, so you can't change the sets, which is, again, a bit of a pity. Or oh, whack that out of the air and whacked it into someone's head in the crowd, I think. <coughs> so, yeah. Oh, dug it out from the ground. No, oh, I didn't. Oh, you sod. Did it? Oh, it double bounced. It must have double bounced. That's sometimes tricky to pick up on. I'm getting stuck in this game, I've just realised. I am actually stuck in this game because what, what, one thing that is about this is a bit strange is if you serve to the um, left-hand side court, if you just do a straight serve, you don't have to do a special serve or, or try and do a special serve. A straight serve like this and computer... Oh, actually, I just hit it out because I tried to do something special there. And like I said, it's difficult to do that. There, look, the computer player, especially on novice, just whacks it straight into the net. So on that side of the court, you're never, you're never really going to lose a point unless you mud your serve up. Much more difficult to do it on this side. Much more difficult to do it on the other side of the court. There, there seems to be a split personality opponent here. He's, he's crap on one side of the court, and he's really good on the other side of the court. When I say side, I mean advantage court side and deuce court side. I don't mean the actual side of the net. Collision detection is pretty good as well. There's a bit of a contentious thing when it comes to sometimes when the ball will hit you and hit you in the body. Um, hit you in the body and you think, well, hang on a minute, I hit it. I hit it and it, it, it doesn't respond like that and that's a bit annoying. Oh, come on. <sighs> Look, I keep doing this. I'm getting the point there. Yeah, because you, you can't hit it back into play. And I go this side to try and do a special serve. And I say, oh, come on, that was in, surely. Come on. Umpire, dubious. Let's go. Oh, hang on a minute. See, some of the calls are very dodgy. That that called that against me because it apparently hit me in the head, but it, it, it didn't. Oh. Apart from flaws like that, which are annoying, it's very playable. It's quite pretty to look at. Uh, minimal on the sound. I could, it could have done with a bit of music. There's none of that going on. But the sounds are okay. Okay is what I'm going to call it. Uh, graphically, it's quite, rather nice and basic and simple and a serviceable tennis game on the Amstrad certainly one of the better ones anyway so that is Pro Tennis Simulator they love the simulators do the Codemasters 1989 and uh, I'm going to give it up now because this is going on forever cheers never bug. <laughs>